Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope that you're all doing well. You know guys, I want to talk about the reality of living life Jesus' way. In particular, where Jesus says, love your enemies. Where Jesus says, pray for those who misuse you, despitefully use you. You know guys, pray for those. Who, who curse you, you know, do not repay evil for evil, but repay evil for good, you know, bless those who curse you, hallelujah, pray for those, you know, guys, who are your enemies, hallelujah, you know, guys, when Jesus was on the cross, bleeding to death for the sins of the world, as we know, He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of, sins of the world. As He was bleeding on that cross, you know, when He was ripped apart by the Romans, you know, by His stripes we are healed. While He was up there, you know, they were mocking Him, they were making fun of Him. They were saying all sorts of evil things towards Jesus Christ on the cross. You know, they, you know the religious people said, if you really are the Son of God, come down from the cross you know guys even one of the thieves on the cross was was mocking him and ridiculing Jesus as he was dying his last hours you know up on that cross and Jesus said something that is amazing no matter what generation you live in no matter whether you believe or you don't believe Jesus said forgive them for they know not what they do. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, many times people in this world are in pain. Many times they are hard pressed, you know, on both sides by demons and, and a hard living situation and probably health problems. And you know guys people on this earth they make decisions they they act a way they have a behavior that when you're looking at them it doesn't look right they're doing things but you know guys have you ever heard the reason someone is a bully is because someone's bullying them you know guys have you ever heard the reason someone abuses someone is because they've been abused by someone you know guys it's a lot more deeper than we realize you know why people do the things that they do but Jesus said something very amazing there forgive them for they know not what they do you know guys bless those who curse you who curse you you know guys bless them don't curse them you know don't repay evil for evil but repay good for evil you know guys pray for your enemies Jesus even goes as far to saying love your enemies hallelujah because when you become born again you realize that human beings people are not your enemy the real enemy might be using them as a puppet as a glove to get to you but your real enemy is Satan the fallen angels and the demons hallelujah you know guys so I want to share in this message today that Jesus Christ died for every one of us, man, woman, you know, murderer, um, you know, good doer, you know, guys, whoever you are, Jesus died and bled on the cross for every one of you, you know, guys. There's a parable about a king who, you know, clears a debt of a man. <laughs> And, you know, a debt that he could never pay. You know, he forgave him that debt. The man who, who got forgiven of a debt that he could never pay had someone else who owed him money. And he got that man arrested. And, you know, he said, pay me back what you owe me. And he threw that man into prison. The man who had the debt cleared by the king did this to another person who owed him money. You know, guys... And once the king found out, he came to the man and said, You know, you know, 
why did you do this to this person who owed you money when I cleared your debt that you could never pay? You know? The king cleared a debt for him that he could never pay. He could never pay it. And someone else owed him money who was much, much less. And he had him thrown in prison until he would pay him back. So the king threw, threw that man back in prison. You know, guys, that's why it says if we don't forgive others, then God can't forgive us. Because the wages of sin is death. Jesus paid the price for our sin. No man or woman could ever pay this debt other than Jesus Christ. So if Jesus Christ has paid a debt, paid for your sin, and yet you don't forgive this person or that person for whatever you know reason it is, then how can we expect God to forgive our sins? You know, guys, if there is someone who, you know, has done you wrong or the devil has used to attack you and you, you're, you're offended or, you know, they stole money or they did this or, or they said something bad about you, put into practice, put into practice what Jesus is saying here. Forgive them. You know, it's not going to be easy. You know, guys, it's not going to be easy. You know, guys, because some people have done some terrible things to you and to people you know. And to forgive them seems impossible. Sometimes it can feel impossible. But I want to testify that if you would go to Jesus and give it to Jesus, if, if you would go to Jesus and say, God, I can't forgive this person. Give me strength to forgive this person. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God will give you strength to forgive. You know, in the past there was someone that I wanted to, you know, to get a baseball bat and, and, and finish him for what he did to my sister. But instead of doing what the flesh wanted to do, I went and I prayed for this man. I prayed for him, you know, screaming and shouting, letting out all my anger to the Lord. You know, guys, and I had to pray for him for maybe, you know, four days to a week. To fully forgive this person and now when I see this person you know I have no anger towards them or, or anything like that it's completely forgiven you know guys and I want to share with you that no matter what someone's done to you no matter what situation you're in you can forgive hallelujah you know guys you can forgive hallelujah you know, guys, we often see those videos on YouTube of, you know, some a killer in court who killed a son or a daughter of a family member. And the parents of that child who was killed are in the courtroom and the murderer is in the courtroom. And, you know, guys, sometimes we see the video, you know, of them being sentenced to prison. Sometimes the parents say, we forgive you, you know, and, and Jesus, you know, God loves you. We forgive you. But other times you will see that, that mother or that father jumping over the little fence and trying to punch that, you know, murderer who, who, who killed their child or their son or their daughter, trying to, trying to kill them. You know, guys, you know, guys. And I want to share with you that even if you're in that situation, you know, guys, I've never been in that situation, but I know that with God, all things are possible. I know that you, you can be able to forgive. You know, guys, you can be able to forgive. A lot of us, you know, someone offends us at church or someone does something in our family. And immediately, you know, we get offended or we, you know, we, you know, we get angry. But at that very point when someone does something or something happens like this, we have to choose to forgive. We have to choose to let it go. Because if we do not, the devil will get a foothold and he will remind you and it will go in your mind. The demons will talk about it and talk about it. And soon you will have unforgiveness. Soon you will have bitterness and resentment towards that person. You know, I'm not saying that you have to become best friends with that person, but forgive them forgive them it's hard hallelujah i've had to forgive a lot of people in my life and in my walk with the lord 
But the way that I did it was talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. If you talk to Jesus, hallelujah. And that's what this video, this message is about today. If you go, talk to the Lord and say, God, give me strength to forgive this person. Give me strength to let it go. Because just as God has forgiven us, we need to forgive others. We, we can't repay evil for evil. You know, guys, this is not the Old Testament where it's an eye for an eye. This is the new covenant. Hallelujah. Where we have to forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Like Jesus forgave them on the cross. You know, guys, they were killing him literally and he forgave them and he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they're doing. Many people in this world are blind. I want to ask you, is there someone that has offended you, who has done wrong to you or someone that you love? Are you holding on forgiveness? You know, are you, you know, pretending like you've forgiven them, but deep down you still have animosity towards them? I think it's time to go and buy them a cake and to send them a message and to go and shake their hand and say, look, I love you and I forgive you for what happened. It will set you free, my brother, because when you hold on to that un unforgiveness, that unforgiveness will hold on to you and it'll be a burden. You know, guys, you'll have bitterness. It'll dry up your bones, as it says, you know, unforgiveness and bitterness. You know, let's forgive. Let's live Jesus' way. Hallelujah. Because if we don't forgive, according to Scripture, God can't forgive us. You know, guys. You know, guys, you don't want to be a bitter person. You know, guys, you don't want your peace to be stolen from you from the thief. You don't want to be in torment from the demons telling you and, and always talking about that person and blah, blah, blah. You know, just forgive. Choose to forgive. And if you can't, ask God and just say, I forgive so-and-so. I forgive them. I forgive them. Ask God to give you strength to forgive if it's a really hard one. And God will give you strength. I can testify of this. Hallelujah. You know, it is good to live the way of, of Jesus Christ. You know, guys, free, light, and, and, and joyful. You know, guys, hallelujah. Because the enemy wants you to be bitter. The enemy wants you to go and attack that person or to, to hate that person. Jesus wants you to love that person. Jesus wants you to have peace in your heart and for you to be happy. And unforgiveness can cause stress. Stress can cause health problems. So go and forgive today. Go to Jesus and ask him how if you're struggling. And you know, guys, Jesus wants you to forgive. You know, seven times, 70 times, like he said to Peter, hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Go and forgive that person today. See you guys. Bye.